What's going on, Micro Scale Garagers? It's the second time I've been videotaping this, trying to figure this out. See all these Star Slingers here? These are my versions of, well, I call them Star Slingers. And uh, this is my version 5, my newest one. I sent that one off the Don. Hopefully, maybe he can make that look good and print it off his little cool. It's super expensive, little, super expensive SLA printer. So I'm printing one pretty fast just to see if it's gonna fit on the axle. Let's look at some in the real world. All right. I'll have my uh, cup coaster. I gave my micro scale garage cup coaster I printed. I gave that to my mom. She likes it. Let me just set my teacup right there. And uh, the teacup might be blocking some light. So, me and Randy, um, from uh, Mr. Nice Guy, RC Accessories, we were talking about, <coughs> oh, sorry about that, the next set of rims that I was going to make, and we were talking about dualies, and I think I might be able to pull off the 10 star star slingers off in a dually I'm not really for sure so they're uh, they're almost on point with original Orlando Hunter rims the first sets my version ones are the 17 mils that's these these are pretty big they're really big really deep dish they're five stars and then I got some on Christine's. The reason why her tires look low profile is because there's no center notch. Like how there's a center notch here. There's no center notch on these rims. They're just a rim. So I made some 15 mils, some stock ones. That's stock to the Orlando Hunter rim, but they're 10 millimeters wide instead of a uh, eight point, I believe. Or they're 8.75 wide. But I had to put them on the Mishibishi. Like they just look. And now there won't be no rubbing in the next video. I gotta make a pan hard bar. Cause I got a loose uh, ball stud right there, that inside ball stud. <coughs> I could put some crazy glue on it, but the servo, that little 2.2 gram servo, snatched that crazy glue out, so. I gotta make a new pan hard bar for the F-150 anyway, so I might as well make a pan hard bar for the Mitsubishi. So now I got some deep dish rims on this one now. And I'll be sending this set off to, uh, I'll be printing a bronze set. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'll be printing off a bronze set for, uh, FPV. Oh, oh here we go again. I almost said his YouTube name wrong. For uh, <laughs> Raw YouTube channel, and that's uh, Tim's channel. I'll be sending him a set, and I'll be sending Lock Rock RC a set so that way they can test some off. I sent the STL files to Don so that way he can print some off, and I'm gonna send STL files off to Randy so that he can try and print some off, see if they like them, just to tell me, like, what do I need to change? You know, like if they hold up. Plus, I just want to give people some rims. And if Steve wants some, man, let me know in the messages, man, if you want some. I got to message him on Facebook. But yeah, there's the regular size ones. I'm sorry I haven't really been able to start working on D10. I've been 3D printing a lot. Um, we got our axles done. We're going to get ready to open up bag C. So we can do a bag C. But I just started, I don't know, designing these rims. I'm pretty pretty stoked about that pretty happy that they work too um yeah next we're gonna build the transmission as you guys see here so in the next build video we'll have the transmission open up in bag c and then i believe we're gonna be working on the frame and the yeah you know how we do it all right and then hopefully next order i'll have another d4l We'll be popping in metal dry shafts, and I believe these are the MD5 300s, and I have two to two. 
These are the OH-32A02 uh, dry shafts, I believe. And then there is the NS-300 motor. So all I need is just a D4L and another LiPo battery. All right, you guys, this is just a quick little vlog. Just hanging out, just having some tea. <clears throat> the build video will be coming up soon. I just want to talk about some 3D printed rims. And, uh, you know, and Don's epic 3D printed rims. I'm not even going to make no steelies because there's no way I can pull off a steely design. I mean, I'll, I'll try and make a steely design, but... Man, SLA printers look way better than FDM printers. <laughs> Get way more detail. <laughs> look way better. Um, I got a special announcement coming up soon. Team T4. I'm very, 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 very excited about that. Very happy about that. Very stoked. I'm very proud to be a part of something like that. I'm very proud to be a part of something in general. Um, you know, that's, that's a God blessing. You know, it, it feels good. Um... Yeah, I just I want to talk about that. So that soon we'll have a little uh, announcement about that, and uh, you know, get this garage back straightened up and everything, and get to building the D10. And we got to figure out what color we're gonna paint it. And uh, you know, I got to finish up the bars going on the windows. And other than that, you know, I want to say uh, like, share, subscribe. You guys get out there and micro crawl. It's a little cold out there in my backyard. I don't know, the, me and the cold weather just don't, we don't get along, so I'll be crawling in the house. <laughs> All right, you guys, peace out.